The Rokat LO 7.1 Air is not my typical review item. However, as a gamer, I was excited to check it out nonetheless. But at a $99 price point, what I was expecting was a mid-range wireless gaming headset without many luxury features. Well, I was wrong. But before we jump into the details on this guy, if you don't know who I am, my name is J-Dub, and I'm here to help you guys make a better tech buying decision. Now, if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest reviews. Now, with that said, let's check it out. So now as we usually do, let's talk about the design because they've done a really good job here. Now it's got a matte black finish on this guy, which is super, super clean. Now they do have LEDs on the ear cups, which are a nice RGB touch, which are fully controllable using the Swarm software. But we'll get to more on that in just a little bit. Now the ear cups are super comfortable and contained noise well, so only I could hear the gameplay just as it should be. A detachable microphone is a nice addition for those who prefer a dedicated mic. For example, a streamer who wants to utilize a more professional production microphone or someone who just wants to use these as a pair of wireless headphones. The self-adjusting pad on the head strap adds immensely to the comfort. However, as you know, if you've probably seen, my head is really large, so the headphones started to feel a bit stiff on the width. After hours of using them, it became a little uncomfortable. Maybe they'll stretch out in time, but if you have a fat head like I do, you might want to be prepared. Now the other great thing is all the controls you could possibly need are on the left ear cup, including a dedicated mic mute button, mic monitoring volume control dial, as well as a system volume control. Now the 50 millimeter drivers deliver regardless of whether you're in the stereo mode or the 7.1 surround sound mode. I mean, I was very, very impressed with the sound quality pretty much across the board. Stereo mode was great for those non-situational games or games that didn't need as many directional cues, while 7.1 surround sound mode was immersive and it was exactly what I needed for my FPS gaming sessions. Now another great thing, and you may be wondering, how was the wireless connection? Now it does use a little tiny dongle that it comes included with, and overall the range was pretty darn good. In fact, I was able to even do what a lot of us do and head to the bathroom with my headphones still on. However, I did end up having to use that mic mute button quite often to make sure <laughs> what I was doing was actually private and not disgusting for my squad. Now I will also mention that their TrueSpeak microphone technology was actually pretty good for a gaming headset, which typically, in my opinion, don't sound all that great, was pretty darn good and my communication with my squad was really on point. Now moving on quickly from the headphones themselves, the other main star of the show that is critical to making sure you get the most out of these headphones is the Rokat Swarm software itself. Well, for one, the Swarm software enables full EQ control, as well as pre-designed presets making the tuning of the audio as simple or as complex as you want it to be. It made it easy to switch between stereo and 7.1 surround sound modes, as well as gives you access to mic quality settings, as well as a built-in voice changer. Yes, that is correct. It has a built-in voice changer, so you know you can change your voice on the fly, which means that you can annoy all the people in your FPS lobbies, because who doesn't love a good voice changer when you're preparing to drop. You also get full RGB controls of the headset lighting. You can set it to a solid color, cycle through colors, have colors change based on what's on the screen, brightness control, or you can even turn them off. So when you consider feature set, build quality, the software that backs this thing up, right, at a $99 price point, in my opinion, it takes these guys from a typical $99 mid-range price point, mid-range product, to a mid-range price point, but a very high-end product. Overall, this guy's packed with features that you would generally find in a much more expensive pair of gaming headsets, right? So at the end of the day, in my opinion, for $99, I would be hard pressed to find another headset that I would recommend more than the Rokat LO 7.1 Airs. But you may disagree, <laughs> you may also agree. You may have these, you may not have these. Let me know what you think. If you guys think these are worth 99 bucks, based on everything that you saw in this video, let me know down in the comment section, is this a $99 pair of headphones or wireless gaming headphones, I should say, to you? Or if you have any questions, comments, concerns, also hit me up down in the comments section below. I try to reply to as many comments as I possibly can. But as usual guys, that's it for me, and I will see you in the next review.